Now that we know that we can treat units algebraically, let's see if we can use that knowledge to figure out what the units of a variable might be from some formula. So let's say that I'm given this formula that capital K is equal to lowercase b over s squared. And let's say, let's say that we are also told, we are also told that b is going to be in centimeters. And S, S is going to be in grams per centimeter. So that's the units of S is grams per centimeter. B is in centimeters. What are the units, or what is the unit of K, or the units of K going to be? And I encourage you to pause this video and think about this. Well, let's try it out with just some value and some values for B and S and see what happens. Let's say that B. Let's say that b is equal to one centimeter. And I'm just using one because it makes the math really easy. And let's say that s is one gram per centimeter. So we know that k, so k is going to be equal to one centimeter, that's b, over one gram per centimeter squared. One gram per centimeter squared. Now we've already talked about the idea that we should treat our units like algebraic quantities. So this should be equal to one centimeter, one centimeter over. Now, you could treat this as one squared times, this, let me rewrite this. You could rewrite this as one squared times grams per centimeter squared. And this just comes out of the idea that if I have A times B, to some power, say the second power, that's equal to a squared b squared. And we also know that if I have a over b to some power, say squared, that's the same thing as a squared over b squared. So I could rewrite this as this is going to be equal to one centimeter over, one squared is just one, one gram squared per centimeter, per centimeter squared. Now what is this going to be equal to? Let me write it over here. Well, that's going to be one centimeter in our numerator. One centimeter, let me do it in that green color, so you can keep track of things. One centimeter from our numerator, instead of dividing it by one gram squared per centimeter squared, I can multiply it times the reciprocal of this. So times one over, one over one, which is just going to be one, but let me just write it that way just so that you get that I'm taking the reciprocal of one. So one over one times the reciprocal of gram squared per centimeter squared. Well, that's just going to be centimeters squared per grams squared. So what's this going to be equal to? Well, I have one times one, so if I take the, if I take the numeric parts, one times one is just going to be one. And now, remember, we can treat the units algebraically. I have a centimeters times centimeters squared. Well, that's going to get me to centimeters cubed. Centimeters to the third power. And that's not, you know, this isn't c times m to the third power. This is centimeters to the third power. You could write it like this if you wanted to be clear about it. Per, and over here we still have gram squared. Per grams squared. So the units, I just pick the numbers one arbitrarily. So the one isn't what matters here. I just pick those numbers. What matters here is what are the units? What are the units for this formula when b is in centimeters and s is in grams per centimeters? We see that k is going to be, is going to be expressed in terms of cubic centimeters, cubic centimeters per gram per gram squared. And I can't tell you offhand uh, kind of a, an intuitive physical representation of that, but you at least know the units. You have cube, cubic centimeters, which you can kind of view as, as a volume, divided by, I guess, a mass squared. And a mass squared is a little bit less intuitive for me. But at least we know what the units of k would be in this formula, given the units of b and s.